Michael, how would you assess that one this afternoon? Yeah, it's disappointing, really. Um, you know, three, four minutes of madness cost us the game, truth be told. I thought, I uh, didn't think we started great, you know, we were a little bit sloppy, I felt at times in the game, but then we had a real grip on the game. Um, literally, we were, you know, probably should have scored. And then, then we lose a poor goal. Not a poor goal, like the nature of the build up to the goal is poor. It's a fantastic strike by the lad. Um, but, you know, there's three or four errors in there before the ball arrives at him. And, and then uh, the second goal, you know, Joe knows that he shouldn't have got involved in that. And suddenly, from being in a really strong position in the game, you're 2 0 down. The reaction in the second half was, was fantastic. Uh, you know, we got what we needed. And, uh, you know, based on our second half performance, we probably should have taken something from the game. But we can't begrudge Derby their win either. It's a difficult day for them, obviously, with what's happened here. But overall, it's a disappointing day for us. Crazy three minute spell gives you a real uphill task, doesn't it? It does. Like, you know, more often than not, that's where the championship is at times. It's moments in the game. And today, you know, we were. Uh, Pretty much, you know, masters of our own downfall, really, in terms of the decisions we made. Uh, you know, it's a bad decision to throw the ball out, poor clearance from Leo, and then ultimately it's a bit fantastic finish by Bird. Uh, and obviously, as I said, the second goal it was just, uh, it was just, just a poor decision. Um, but look, you know, if you look at us in the second half, I think you know we had basically territorially we're basically in their half for the, the whole of the second half. We get the goal back. We just couldn't find it. You know, I thought if we could get the second one we probably could go on and win it but we just couldn't find a way to find to get the second goal and goalkeeper makes some good saves they get a little bit of luck as well on occasions and, and uh, you know as I say a little bit of lack of quality at times from us in the, in the box as well. As you mentioned you got a reaction and created chances in the second half is maybe that a difference to, to the side a year or two you, you created those chances and you looked like you could get back into the game? I think we were able to make changes today that uh, Helped us, you know. I don't you know, obviously Powell's just back, so he's a little bit short of sharpness. Um, but we didn't get enough. It was, we probably maybe asked a little bit much of Seema today, but we felt it was a good game to throw him into. You know, their two centre backs are in the you know latter stages of their career, so we felt he would maybe get joy, but we didn't get as much. He showed some nice moments in the game, I felt as well. Sam Surridge was quiet, you know. Um, so, but I, I think you know, Alfie coming on and, and and Nick coming on helped us, and uh, you know we we got a good reaction in terms of uh, the you know a bit more energy again in the team. Jacob gives a bit more energy up top, but as I say you're always chasing the game, obviously, and, and uh, we just couldn't find a way to get the second goal. There were shouts for a penalty later on. What was your take on it? It looks like a penalty to me, to be honest. I, I don't think that uh, I think it's Yoshiak. I think it's the sub that comes on. He does try to get out of the way. But Sam's in the box and it's on his left foot and there is contact, you know, so it is a penalty for him, you know, um, but it wasn't given. You were backed by great numbers today, so I mean, I suppose the frustration is you couldn't send them home happy today. Well, yeah, look, when we get great, fantastic away support and, and you want, you know, when they come, you want to give them results and, and, and unfortunately today we didn't do that and, and we have to learn from it. You know, this is a young team, you have to be mindful of that. Again, you know, we, we, we had players seven of the team 23 and under so and they don't have huge experience in the championship and I include the likes of Ostergaard and Surridge and that even so uh, we, we just we, we just at times we have to learn from this and, and make sure obviously that you know we limit these types of moments throughout the season. You move on to Watford in the cup in midweek will you maybe freshen up the team? Yeah we'll make changes we have to be mindful of the the, the loading on the players but you know, we want to try and go and win that game. We've won the two opening cup games. Gives the opportunity to some players to come in. So, yeah, we, we'll go with the intention of trying to win. I suppose it gives them a chance to stake their claim to, to come into the side of the league game as well. Of course, of course. You know, we just, we're just we not just going to pick the same team all the time. You know, I thought today we were quite good when we changed the system. You know, we end up basically playing 3-3-4 three, three, and I thought we played it quite well, which is what we have to do. We keep, you know, um, we had a period where we played Mario and and Pauli in behind, which I think, you know, will give teams problems as well. But um, the, the key thing is that, you know, I said to them in there, like, we, we can't get comfortable, we can't come into this game as feeling that we're comfortable. We have to always be pushing to try and win games to, because we obviously want to maintain our position and improve our position in the league and the Derby are fighting for their lives. So the game is huge for them. And, uh, you know, I, I felt... Uh, we got the right reaction in the second half, but you know, as I say, we just we suffered for a period in the first half that cost us the game.